Teachers, how are we? Oh, this group is good. I like them. All right, everybody, welcome inside. Thank you for joining us today. We have the students to my right, my teachers to my left, but they're all from Bordentown Regional Middle School in Bordentown, New Jersey. They're all inside the classroom, and I am ready to roll where students and teachers, you guys get the drill. They're both getting graded by me, but at the end of this journey is a giant $500 check and bragging rights for the rest of the school year. Now, before we meet our contestants, I'm jumping right into the game today. And we're starting with, a, you guys are believe it, a pop quiz. <laughs> Grab your buzzers. We have one minute on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. All right, guys, here we go. This game starts right now. What is the name of the outermost layer of the sun's atmosphere? First one in, Ms. Mrs. Ortu. The Corona? That's absolutely right. In what animated TV series, 2022 Revival, does 14-year-old Penny navigate modern life alongside her siblings, parents, and beloved Sugamama? No answer here. The Proud Family, louder and prouder. What is nine multiplied by two? First one in, Gabe. 18. In December 2022, the Phillies announced the signing of what LA Dodger to an 11-year, $300 million deal? JR. Trey Turner. Man, I love Trey Turner. Who was the first US president to be sworn into office in Washington, DC? First one in, Gabe. John Adams. For the Steel Teachers. Gotta say. No buzz here. Oh. Thomas Jefferson was the answer. Let's double the points. I got 20 points on this question here. What is the term for a mature female chicken capable of laying eggs? First one is Mrs. Ortu. Hen. Hen is right. And that buzzer sound is it for Pop Quiz. Teachers out to a 10 point lead after the yes. first round. Getting 30 <laughs> points for you guys. And students, well done as well. Getting the jitters out. You guys grab 20 and you only trail by 10. I love it. This is a cool school. I'm going to be honest. You have students and teachers today from Bordentown Regional Middle School. They're coming all the way from Burlington County, and they call themselves the Bobcats. Let's meet our teams. Hi, I'm Jared Brovac. I'm an eighth grader at Bordentown, and I play baseball and basketball at BRMS. Hi, my name is Gabe Jarvie. I play basketball, and I love music. And shout out to my friends back at home. Hi, my name is Noor. I'm a seventh grader at BRMS, and the teachers don't got a chance. Hello, I'm Miss McCann. I teach STEM education at BRMS, but I'm also the drama director, so today we're gonna put on a show for you. Hi, I'm Mrs. Ortu. I teach sixth and seventh grade science. Our school motto is to spread kindness like confetti, but I'm not going to be very kind to these students today. Hi, I'm Miss Jones. I am a sixth and seventh grade ELA teacher at BRMS. I am the reigning ugly sweater contest winner and door decorating contest winner. And today I'm going for my triple crown. All right, that's talking six people that I immediately already love. Listen, detention's right around the corner, but I gotta be honest, the amount of trash talk going on in this stage is something that makes me smile. Teachers, are you guys geared up and ready to take these fellows on? Oh yeah. <laughs> That was in chorus, and we are singing our way to detention. Let's play. Put your buzzers down. You'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. Ooh, it's such a close game. 40 points would go a long way, squads. Good luck. And the trailing team will go first, which means students, you guys get first category, which is, here it is, math. Play. Play. All right, here you go. The question, in a right triangle, one of the interior angles is a right angle, and the other two are what type of angle? Acute. 
You are cute. That is right. That gets you the answer. Hey, look, oh, you got to hit fist bumps over there. Leave the game on uh, TV hanging there. All right, you got teachers. Is it McCann or two or Jones going to detention first? Or two. Missing this is or two. I felt like that was preconceived, like you guys yeah. knew that that was happening first. All right, Mrs. Orch, you take a seat in detention, enjoy yourself. But don't worry, someone will be coming your way next. Mm -hmm. And will it be a student teacher? We find out with this category on a pass or play. Here it is, English. Yeah, isn't it our turn? Yeah. Play. play. Perfect. <laughs> Sorry. Here's your question. What is the indirect object in this sentence? Max handed his boss a folder. Okay. Answer? Boss. Yes. Is correct. <laughs> Nicely done, you guys. <laughs> Absolutely right. Okay, is it JR, Gabe, or Ooh, Nor going amazing. to detention? Okay. All right. Uh, JR. JR, team captain. See you later, pal. <laughs> You're joining Mrs. Ortu. You take the long walk. And students, the category goes back to you. Here we go with geography. Okay. Here you go. Hamburg, Munich, and Berlin. Are cities in what European country? Germany. Germany is right, said with confidence. That's right, fellas. You get to take a teacher out of the game now. Miss McCann. Miss McCann. Oh, okay. She's like, I don't want to, Richard. Please, let me stay in the game. Good call, fellas. That was a team move right there. All right. How about this, Miss Jones? Hi. Are you nervous? No. Exactly right. <laughs> Teachers know what it's like to sweat it out up here, right? Here's your category, movies. I'll play. All right, here we go. Okay. What 2021 Netflix movie oh gosh. follows a shy 16-year-old girl named Vivian who publishes an anonymous zine that ignites a feminist movement in her school? I don't know. The answer was Moxie is what we we're looking for. And that is the end of the game, students. How about it? Take the 40 points. JR, get over here, man. We got to celebrate with a Tasty Cake snack break. Listen, not only do you guys get 40 points, but Tasty Cake gave us some of their brand new dipping sticks to try. So we're going to jump through these a little bit more later in the show. But for now, we keep this game rolling. You're in the lead 60 to 30. And when we come back, art class is next, fellas. Hey, teachers, who wants a snack break? Let's go. Nothing better than a snack in detention, you guys. Right? Come on, a little, little bite to eat before we actually got to sit here all day. up here right now it's awesome welcome back to the classroom on the show today it is a raucous group of students and teachers from Bordentown Regional Middle School in Burlington County hey it's all about fun and that's what they're here to do have a little fun and that's what we're gonna do in art class right now here's how to play the game each team selected one player to draw the first artist will select a card with a word or phrase hidden on the inside. Hmm? They will have five seconds to draw, then their teammates will have 10 seconds to talk and make one guess. A correct answer is worth 30 points, and if the team guesses incorrectly, I'll give them a couple more chances, but the points hmm? decrease. All right, right now, teachers, you are trailing. So you are up with me, Miss McCann. Okay. So is it gonna be blue or red that you wanna take today? Blue. You got it, you stand back there, you open that up, and we're gonna get you ready. Ladies, feel free to take a stretch break here because you are about okay. to do a huge guess. Can ready, I... five seconds. As soon as I say go, you are gonna fly through this. Time starts now. I like what you're doing, smart. Okay, stop. This is doable, this is doable. You okay. guys ready? Here we go. What what is it? Our answer is waterfall. I told you it was doable. I told you. Well done. That's what I'm talking about. Just like that. Students, look out. It is a tie game at 60 points apiece. Yes, it is. All right, Mrs. McCann, we're gonna switch you and Nora out here. I'm gonna erase this here as we go. 
All right, he's known as the greatest artist this side of the Mississippi. I'm gonna give you this red card. Open that up. Take a look at that word. Feel free to get wild with it. Yeah, just tear open here. I'll help you out. There you go. There you go. Okay, that's what you're drawing. He's smirking right now. Here he goes. Are you ready? Five seconds starts right now. Go. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's oh, that's good. You guys ready? Come on, do him proud here. What is it? Narwhal. That was an unreal guess. Okay, we're switching this back. You got five more seconds here, okay? When I say go, time starts right now. You can add on, do a new drawing, your choice. All right, stay right there. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. What is it? Deep in thought, one answer. Is it a water gun? All right, it's not a water gun. We have narwhal and a water gun. Okay, you ready? Grab a marker. You're gonna 10 seconds this final round. Add any details, change up your photo. Your time starts right now. Go ahead, Nora. Okay. Fellas, now think through every variation you've seen thus far. Right, we've got our narwhal and our water gun. Okay, stop right there. You guys ready? Yeah. He's done it here. I think he's oh. done it. Uh, it's an alligator. It's a <laughs> Nor tell him what it was. A unicorn. It was a unicorn. <laughs> Look, he's got the legs. He's got the 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 unicorn part. Well, listen, hey, no points for you guys, but the good news is it's a 60-60 tie ball game, and I'm putting up some extra credit. Let's do it. They had it with Narwhal. They were right on the doorstep. All right, I'm gonna ask one extra credit question. Both teams will have one minute during the commercial break to write down their answers, and a correct answer here is worth 10 points. So let's get it right, it's a tie game. Here it is. What is the term for a type of early settlement or territory established by a distant country or government, usually for economic or political reasons. Now, it's gonna get you 10 points if you get it, but you, I'm talking to you. Sit right there when we come back, our game continues. But first, you're not gonna believe it. Head out to our sponsor, Rita's, because the five-layer gelati is back, but only for a limited time. What's better than an extra layer of creamy frozen custard in the middle of your favorite ice flavor? I mean, with the Rita's Five Layer Gelati, you can get as creative as you want and build your own super amazing cool masterpiece. So get to Rita's quick and create your own Five Layer Gelati before they're gone. And don't forget, download the Rita's app to start earning those sweet rewards when you go. Be cool, people. Go to Rita's. When we come back, this game continues. I'm having a blast. Stay right there. Great job, great job, great job, great job. Classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Bordentown Regional Middle School in Burlington County. I don't give out star students very often, but I'm giving this school a star of approval. I love the squad here today. I'm glad you guys are here. We have one heck of a game going on here. Students 60, teachers 60, and I asked a little extra credit before we went to the break, and here was the question. What is the term for the type of early settlement or territory established by a distant country or government, usually for economic or political reasons? Let's go to the teachers. Miss McCann, our resident expert, said. Embassy. Incorrect, oh. great <laughs> answer though. Great answer, JR. Did you get it right? We said colony. Is correct, that's what we were looking for. Yeah. And how about it, students? You break the tie, you get up to 70 points there. Unbelievable on the extra credit. All right, JR, listen, you win this thing. Where's that money going? We're gonna use it for uh, recess equipment yeah. at our school. Nice, that sounds awesome. 
Teachers, how about you? 500 means where's that going? Yep, uh, for the faculty room. To oh, get, it. get a, like a 42 inch screen, yeah. couch, yeah. wrap around, mm -hmm. someone to put the feet up. Yeah. yeah, all right, cool. Listen, well, let's, before we even get to that money part, I want to take you guys on a trip. So let's go outside. We're jumping on the board. Let's go. Bus is up next. Grab your buzzers. We will ask you three questions from a special location. The first person to buzz in and get the correct answer to each question will win 10 points for their team. If you buzz in and get it incorrect, a member of the other team will have a chance to buzz in and steal. All right, guys, we're taking a field trip to Fox 29 sponsored the Atlantic City Boat Show. Jen Fred from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia is asking the questions today. You guys know her. She's always out doing something crazy. So today she's taking us on the field trip. What's up, Jen? I hate to say it over and over again, but you guys know I love a field trip. And here we are at the Atlantic City Boat Show. Pretty cool, right? So here is your first boating question. What is the name of the tall upright pole on a sailboat that supports the sails? First one in, Mrs. Ortu. The mast. The mast is right, yes. there you go. Okay, look, okay. you've been watching Below Deck a lot, haven't you? <laughs> All right, that ties the game at 70 points. This is what it looks like here, guys. Two questions left. These are vitally important. Jen, question number two. Staying on the boat theme, here's question number two. The Thousand Sunny is the name of a pirate ship commanded by Luffy and the Straw Hat Pirates in what anime series? First one in, Gabe. One Piece. One Piece is right, takes the lead at the 80 points. Ooh, baby, all right, students holding the lead by 10 points, teachers. Good luck on this final question. Jen, this one's important. Okay, here's your last one for now. In Greek mythology, care on, often depicted standing on a boat, is the ferryman of what Greek god of the underworld? First one in, Mrs. Ortu beats the buzzer. Poseidon? Incorrect. <laughs> for the steal, students. Buzz in if you know it. Or take a guess. No, did not get it in. We were looking for Hades, you guys. Hades was the underworld there. Hey, a big thanks to Jen Fred, but you gotta think Steve Keel Lee would have been better for that boat field trip. Okay, <laughs> nobody else. Scores, students, leading by 10 points as we head in to the final exam. The U.S. Cities is our topic today, teams. I'm going to ask you three questions on this topic. Each correct answer is worth 100 points. That's 300 points up for grabs. I'm going to put 60 seconds on the clock during the commercial break where you'll work together to write down all three of these answers. But first, here is question number one. What is the most populated city in the United States? Question number two. In 2022, the city of Atlanta honored what drip too hard and for the night rapper with his own day to be celebrated on November 13th. Finally, U.S. cities located in Boston, Massachusetts. What is the name of the oldest MLB ballpark that is still in use today? All right, those are the questions. U.S. cities, do we know them? Do we love them? Do they know them? Do they love them? We find out when we come back. The classroom wraps up next. But wait, but first, our sponsor, Tasty Cakes. Newest treats are here to delight your taste buds and satisfy your snacking needs. I'm talking dipping sticks, and they're a delicious donut stick coated in this light, tasty glaze. It's incredible. You can enjoy them in two different varieties. My favorite, glazed lemon blueberry, or my wife's favorite, the glazed chocolate. They're perfect for dipping in your morning coffee, or honestly, even in the afternoon, one of those beautiful ice cold glasses of milk. Look, breakfast, lunch, dinner, a treat, you can enjoy the new dipping sticks from Tasty Cake anytime, anywhere. Dippin' Sticks, they're in the stores right now. So what are you waiting for? Get in your car, go get the sticks, but not before the show ends. When we come back, I crown one of these guys champions. Stay right there.
town. Come on now. Welcome back inside the classroom, everybody. Today we have the students and teachers from Bordentown Regional Middle School in Burlington County going head to head. Look at those scores. Students only leading by 10. This is an unbelievable game as we wrap this things up with our final exam topic today, which is U.S. cities. All right, three question seems each one correct is worth 100 points. All right, 300 on the board. Let's see who does it. And we start with question number one. What is the most populated city in the United States? Teachers, Miss Jones. New York City. Bam, get you up to 170, holding the lead. They said, no way students knew this. Nor, what'd you say? I said New York City. Bam, they did. New York City gets you that 10 point lead once again. In the 2022, the city of Atlanta honored what drip too hard and for the night rapper with his own day to be celebrated on November 13th. Next up, Mrs. Ortu. Usher. <laughs> drip too hard is not Usher. Gabe, you said. We went with Gunna. Gunna, also incorrect. Little Baby is who we were I looking told, for. Little you. Baby. Finally, here we go. Buckle up, people. Last question. Located in Boston, Mass. What is the name of the oldest MLB Paul Park that is still in use today? Teachers, if you get this wrong, the game is over no matter what the students say. You said. <laughs> Fenway Park. Fenway Park yeah. is right and hold the lead as we go to the students. You said JR. Fenway Park. Students win the game. Absolutely right. Come on out here, you guys. What a win for the students. And how about the principal? Come on, you guys. Get in here on the check. Teachers, you're not going home empty handed. Rita's got gift cards for you and the students playing today. We love our sponsor, Rita. Here, you guys hold this big old check. It's yours. Thanks for being here with us. We'll see you next time right here on the classroom.